there's only one real value of x in this question. Now, let x be a real number that satisfies this equation 3 times x raised to the power of x equals 3 raised to the power of x plus 10. Then, our goal is to find the value of x. Pause this video and see if you can answer this question. And, of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. So R here is a real number that satisfies this equation 3 times x raised to the power of x equals 3 raised to the power of x plus 10. The goal is to find the value of x. And we know there's only one real value of x that satisfies this equation. Alright, to answer this kind of question, we will use some loss of exponent. So if we have b raised to the power of a plus c, we can rewrite this as b raised to the power of a multiplied by b raised to the power of c. So we can rewrite the right-hand side of our equation as 3 raised to the power of x times 3 raised to the power of 10. Now, let's divide both sides by 3 because we want the value of x. And then, let's divide both sides by 3 raised to the power of x. Or simply rearrange some terms a little bit. Alright, now, from here, we will use again some loss of exponent. Take note, we have here an exponent of 1. So if we have the same base, b raised to the power of a over b raised to the power of c, we can rewrite this as b raised to the power of a minus c. We can subtract the exponent. So the numerator minus the exponent on the denominator. So the right-hand side of our equation, we can rewrite this as 3 raised to the power of 10 minus 1. And 10 minus 1 simply equal to 9. And let's focus on this result now. From here, another law of exponent when we have the same exponent. So if we have b raised to the power of a over c raised to the power of a, we have the same exponent of a. So we can pull out the exponent and divide their bases. So we have b over c raised to the same power a. So the left-hand side of our equation, we can rewrite this as x over 3 raised to the power of x. Now, here comes the magic part. because we can rewrite these three. We can rewrite these three as 9 over 3. 9 over 3 simply equal to 3 for sure, right? And now let's focus on the position of x and 9. So we have here x, we have here 9, we have here x, we have here 9, and we have a common denominator of 3. Therefore, we can say that x here is technically equal to 9. And that is our answer to this question. Since we know that x here, we have only one real value of x that satisfies this equation, then our answer must be x equals 9. And as always, we are done.